Hello. This is Warframe, the hack and slash you've heard about that is actually free. Warframe is a game that you play as the Warframe. <clears throat> a free to play open world MMORPG, kinda, looter shooter, and business driven skill that will rob you of your ability to actually play the game for free. A game that has a massive selection of weapons, Warframes, and Fight absolute units that have fun and intricate mechanics to beat them in armed combat. What the f Survive through long missions that give you rewards to remind you as to why you play this glorified cock. <clears throat> Here is the premise on how the game works. You use sh kill sh that drop sh pick up said sh to craft other sh to use against multiple other pieces of shit. The more shit you have, the more drip, the more level, and of course, the more disgusting you become to force people to not interact with you so you can go collect more sh Hey, that's me. The story. More convoluted than fucking Who the fuck is you? With the many options available from your personas to Native Americans, British people, and third world country enthusiasts. Mission types. You have capture, where you capture a fuckboy. Assassination, where you assassinate a fuckboy. Exterminate, where you kill every fuckboy in your area. Rescue, where you rescue a fuckboy. Oh shit, that's a woman. Now, as a looter shooter, there is only one thing that this game really stands for. Grind. Getting rid of non-stop dynamism. Constantly grinding and hoarding for things that you don't expect to be useful. But hold up, everything is useful. So the next time you get that fuck-ass nav coordinate, don't forget to feed it to your fucking vor fetish guy. Yes, that is his name. I named him that. With the many Warframes available in your roster, there are also Prime variants that have better stats and free polarization so you don't shove puzzle pieces in their fucking juices. But wait, the same can be said for weapons. And how do you get Primes, you may ask? <laughs> That is a whole nother story there, buddy. These things are called relics, which you can farm from completing void missions like Uko to get one relic, or from Sanctuary Onslaught, but it won't be anything but lit fucking relics. But hold up, the piece you want is rare or uncommon. That means you need to use void traces to rank up the relic. How do you do that? By doing void fisher missions. But if you don't equip a relic, then you can't pick up any of the rewards. So what the fuck is the point of getting in there if someone rolls fucking rare shit? So here is a visual representation of how relics actually go. Now you got your pieces, cool, but hold up, you need Oricon cells, Argon crystals, Cryotech, Tellurium, how about you Tellurium to go fuck himself? Thank you, I'll, I'll be here all night. But don't go out there to farm Argon crystals because it is a gosh darn time resource. So only get them when it is needed, so you don't end up looking like a raccoon with cotton candy. You got 19 different places to fuck around in, each of which making a grand total of 237 missions to do. After completing them all, you unlock arbitrations, endless missions that give you aids unless you're prepared for them. But other than that, you got the steam, which resets your whole star chart to become even harder with better rewards. And there is a whole fucking iceberg of things on the topic of this 10 year old fuck ass game. You got the open world section that have factions that have ranks. Getting a higher rank allows you to get shit like weapons and pets. And of course, doing their bounties have a chance to reward you with certain mods that everyone's got their eyes on. Mods that are found in every single darn Let's segue our way to mods then. There are a shit ton of mods that are upgraded with creds and ends. Credits are easy to farm since you get them in a way that revolves around playing the game. While endo is... 
Uh... Estaba comiendo algunos frijoles y recibí una notificación de YouTube en con... So after you spend your life saving on getting the materials and the junk and other things, you can finally, finally make that weapon or weapon. What the fuck? But now it's time to make them viable using things called Orokin catalysts or reactors, which I like to call potatoes, to increase the base mod capacity available to you. But wait, sorry, some mods take too much fucking space. So you need to mix and match polarities to increase the amount of mods you can have. To add more polarities, you have Forma. Did I mention that some things need Forma to reach their maximum potential? Did I also mention that you can do this for every Warframe, Weapon, Companion, Arc Wing, K Drive, Necromex? and their respective weapons. Oh, and also, some Warframes have this thing called Exalted Weapons, so have fun. All right, I think it's time to play a game that lowers my life expectancy. Wait, Riven? Right, Rivens, the kind of mods that can either make or break a weapon in a heartbeat. The only gambling addiction that will not leave you dry. But you know what will leave you dry? When you spend so much resources on a weapon you believe to be so good that ended up being fucking ass. Or a Riven that is available for a high Riven disposition that ended up being absolute garbage. Unless it's an Incarnon, then a pop off. King. Oh fuck, it's Baru Katir, the twink that sometimes sells good shit. But you need ducats. Time to sell that fucking prime piece. But wait, shit, I need platinum, and I only have moths constantly fornicating with my wallet. Time to sell that fucking prime piece. Wait, fuck, syndicates. I wanna rank up my fucking syndicate. Uh... Alright. Take some time to relax. While your warframes and weapons build and marinate in the foundry, you can just sit around and- Oh wait, did you do your call duties? Oh, pfft, time to do them. Can't miss out on those free doo-doo crystal -doo muffers. Now can we? And then after all that, we can- Oh wait, fuck. Don't forget your operator. Choosing a whole system that suits your fancy only to pick the same one everyone else uses because you need the energy. So you're going to be sitting there and studying every fu- After spending the kuva and the endo and the credits, perfecting your frames and your weapons, sticking crystals down your ass and finishing your entire incarnon. Oh, Say hello to Daviri, an entirely new way to start the game that helps new players gain warframes without having to do their corresponding boss to get the piece. Doing the Steel Path version allows you to make weapons turn from baby bitch boys to absolute monsters. And now, you can finally stop. There is so much to do in this game, so much shit to find, to level, and explore. So many systems that gradually increase as you play the game. So many things that you passively do that actually ends up rewarding you for simply spending your time. So many other things that are not necessary to get, but if you get them, it's an absolute bonus, I think. From the many things like fashion, design, and spending your kidney on a skin that shows off more ass, there is always something to do in this game. And from the many years that I have played this game on and off, experiencing the buffs and the nerfs, but most importantly, the bugs. Yeah, I can safely say that this really is Warframe.